Hey guys, got this beautiful C180, classic one. You don't see them often anymore. But come out today because it's start. It's not starting. So it's such a show you the first thing that I would check if you got a car that doesn't start. Okay, doesn't start. So I go over. Yeah, my customer said to me that he changed his fuel. He said he changed his spark plugs. So I just wanted to quickly check the fuel pressure. And it's just a little valve down here. Yeah, so if there was pressure in there, my left hand is rubbish. It would just spray out fuel. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> but there's no fuel in there. No pressure. So it could be a fuel pump issue. So we're going to carry on diagnosing, but I thought I'd just give you guys this little tip today. All right, let's up. All right, guys, so this is just a full code here. P2029, make sure full max self adaption fuel trim. So it's complaining about some sort of fueling issue. Yeah. yeah keep cranking it. We've got up to the 10 volts, right? So it's a good. It's a good chance now that um, the fuel pump is getting this voltage, right? So what you're going to do is whack this and try and get the fuel pump back to life. <laughs> but we disconnect, put some gloves on, disconnect that, plug it back in. We disconnect it and test it again and then we plug it back in. What? Yeah. Alright, so we've got voltage. So we're going to leave it at that, we're going to change the fuel pump, but my customer thinks that he, well, I believe in him as well, he can change it. So my tip for you guys is, if you're going to change this fuel pump, you've got to clean out this area really well. And make sure you've got a tool to reclamp these clips. Because when I was younger in my day, and as an apprentice, I used to struggle with these, trying to do it with like plies and stuff. The proper tool is way better. And then disconnect your connector. Get a hammer, turn this... Um, Anti-clockwise, Anti well done. And then pull out your pump, put it back in the same direction. So you want to mark it. Like for example, the pump here. This this tag. When you put the new pump in, make sure this tag is also going to face in the same direction. Now make sure that your fuel gauge stays correct. All right, that's it. Bless up. Bye bye.